Everything that happens to us is stored in the synapse. So by sending information repeatedly through the synapses, the brain actually grows new synapses in response to something called neuroplasticity. It's modified by experience. The more information goes through this pathway, the stronger it becomes. So we have more pathways, strengthening pathways, by repeated stimulation. Then when you can apply multiple pathways simultaneously, you increase even further the brain's ability to multitask. So the ILS system is an auditory system. It's the only auditory system that combines listening and auditory stimulation with movement and visual activities. So you have an auditory system which improves auditory processing, so important for reading and speech and language. It talks to the visual system, also important for reading and orienting to sound. These talk to the vestibular system, an inner ear system that has to do with coordination, balance, muscle tone, and regulation of all of our movements and our position in space. So we have networks of systems going on simultaneously that are being stimulated at the same time. <clears throat> in addition to this, movement is added. The movement talks to all of these other systems. There's an adage that says that neurons, networks that fire together, wire together. So by providing this simultaneous sensory input through multiple systems, you're improving brain function, interconnectivity, and strength. And the quality of that input is crucial because faulty input is going to mean faulty output. The great need in treating ADHD uh, these days is for a comprehensive program uh, that gets at the target symptoms through as many venues as possible. Uh, the traditional treatment, which combines behavioral therapy with medication, is fine, but it's less than optimal. And by using ILS, we found new avenues uh, to address the target symptoms of distractibility, impulsivity, and restlessness uh, that make the, the treatment even better. By using movement, by stimulating the vestibular system, by using sound, music, specially filtered music, by stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system, we find that we can even better help these kids and these adults control themselves, which is really the goal of treatment, uh, to put the child or the adult in control rather than having impulses and distractions control that person. ILS takes uh, what was already a, a good treatment and makes it even better. The question's been asked about how the ILS system also helps with regulation, meaning emotional regulation and emotional control. This is one of the strongest aspects of the ILS system also, which is achieved through a series of connections in the brain, the most important of which is the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve, a long, long nerve in the human body from the medulla to the base of the brain all the way to the lower intestines, is the part of the autonomic nervous system that helps us to relax, to calm, to digest our food. It calms down the fight or flight system. This has a tremendous effect on emotional regulation and calming. In addition, the vestibular system sends information to the amygdala through the anterior cingulate gyrus, which is more than most people want to know, that has a tendency to calm down the amygdala, which is the part of the brain that senses fear and sends fear signals out into our autonomic nervous system. And I think this is where a program like ILS is particularly useful, that uh, through, through mechanisms that we don't even fully understand, We've seen that folks who will put in the hours of listening and do the, the exercises, their, their talents begin to emerge more quickly and, and they flourish and blossom more quickly than they would with the, with the standard behavioral coaching and medication regimen. I think it's a great breakthrough and, and really tremendously exciting uh, in, in the developing, helping these people develop their their full potential, which is, which is tremendous. And you just heard my little dog uh, add a comment of agreement. <laughs>